Hello and welcome back to Cream Puff Plays on the Alich No Survival Multiplayer Whitelist Server thing. Uh, I have been running around for a little bit to try and get some birch wood because we're going to build some. Yeah, we're going to build some. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, hello. Um, uh, some cherry blossom trees today. And from everything that I've done, they look much better in birch than they do in anything else. Uh, let's just you know, put that down. I don't know why. Just to get some light if it's too dark for you guys. Um, I was asking on Discord if anyone had some. And War has very kindly offered some up. Um, but... Uh, we are living just over there. You can still see the peak. And I just found some. Just here. I'm hoping it'll give me... Uh, I'm hoping it'll give me saplings. Would you just go in there, please? I'm hoping it'll give me saplings. Because then we can just farm some up as we've been doing with the Akisha. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people seem to like the, the temple portal thing. Which we still haven't linked up. So I might do that this episode while I'm waiting for my birch. This is a tall tree. While I'm waiting for my birch to grow, maybe we'll link up this nether portal. Nope, still more. Okay. It's a super tall birch tree. Are you going to get to the end anytime soon? Hello. Uh, I've been having a think as well, and I feel like this Japanese steampunk is mainly just becoming Japanese. I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. I've got lots of great ideas. Um, as you can probably tell... Um, uh, oh... Oh, okay. Goes into the ground as well? How strange. Uh, hello. This is kind of my hole, dude. Thank you. Oh, uh, I'm probably going to die here. This is... Why? Since when? Since when do they just dive into the hole with you? This is... The, I'm going to sleep first. I'll go and get all my stuff. Hello? Oh, no, I'm going to get kicked from the server. This keeps happening, actually. I wonder if it's something wrong with me or the server. Okay, sure. <sighs> How strange. Um. Uh, yep, completely forgot what I was going to say. I think, yeah, I think it's just going to become more of a Japanese theme, which I'm okay with because I've never built before. The Japanese steampunk vibe, because that just looks Japanese to me. It's got kind of a steampunky feel. Oh, I've done the proof. <laughs> that was supposed to be um, a better reveal. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave you hanging for a little bit. I'm going to go get my stuff. And we'll look at what I've done off camera. That was close. Uh, because I've been doing some work. I've been starting on the interior of the building. Just trying to shape it out a little bit. And uh, I've also obviously finished off the tower. Which I completely forgotten that I hadn't done on camera. I forgot how much I did. So yeah, I was going to do it on camera, but I thought ah, it's going to be a lot of um, trial and error, um, which no one really wants to see, I think. I'm still unsure about the whole building on camera thing. Um, I would still love you guys to let me know whether or not you like the building on camera, because just building that portal last episode was 35 minutes in the end, which is actually longer than the episode where I built the house. So, you know, I don't want to go too crazy. All right, where did I die? It's over here near the birch tree somewhere. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get my stuff back. Um, hopefully not get swamped by zombies. And uh, I'll be back to show you... <laughs> I'll be back to show you the... Progress on the house. I can't help but look around here and think that... I think... Mojang, you should do... This is open letter to Mojang. You guys should redo your... Um, tree spawning algorithm. Because look at these. If that's what spruce looks like, and if you get birch trees like this, you know, I'm not so sure about these, but these are cool as well. I mean, I'd be much... I'd love to be able to just have these without having to make them by hand. Because they're just really difficult to make to get the right shape. I tried. I tried in a creative world, and I couldn't do it. Um, and they're quite large, I guess. Which works really well for a spruce forest. Like, look at this. This feels much more forest-like than... Um, you know, forests in regular Minecraft. It's still quite, you know, sparse and everything, but it's an amazing start. And I would love it if we could get, you know, trees that look like this in regular Minecraft without having to use mods. 
Just just think about it, Mojo. Just think about it. At least have the option, you know? You could you could choose advanced tree generation as an option when you generate your world. That'd be cool. It would mean I'd have to regenerate my world, which would be a little bit shocky, but you know, I'd be willing to do it for the trees. This needs to be fixed, B dubs. So now that we're coming back, we can have a bit of a look at what I've done. Isn't it pretty? This is actually, I think, one of my favourite things that I've built for quite some time. So, if we pillar up... Okay, we can have a bit of a better look at it. So, this is a roof. This is kind of this flare-like shape, which a lot of Japanese roofs have. So, you can see, that's the kind of thing I was going for with those. Um, and this kind of thing. I might even get take it up one higher would be nice. Um, we've put in... I kind of wanted to make a little kind of snaky pattern down here. I thought that would fit in. And I just kept this plain just because I wanted some windows. Didn't want to go too crazy with it. And I think it looks pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. And we shall show you the inside as well. But yeah, not too bad. Um, I kind of figured that out. The original build that I had for this did not look anything like that. Um, and I tried to kind of, it took ages to get the roof right because it looked too small for the longest time. Um, it was really, really tiny. Uh, so I kind of stepped it out a little bit more and I think it's got a nice feel about it. I had to bring these in here. Um, just without going straight up, the roof looked tiny and I didn't want to bring it out another block again because I feel like that would have been a bit weird. But this I think looks perfect the way it kind of goes in. I wanted a little bit more shape to it rather than the straight up and down. Um, and it's just the same on each side. No difference. Um, I've also worked on the window texture a little bit as well. So I added in that little connecty bit. So I think that looks a little bit nicer now. Um, so it's not just a blank space in the middle. Um, having a few issues though, because in on the inside it's got these borders. And it's because that this one here should be here and this one here should be here. So I don't know if that's something I'm doing wrong or if it's something that Optifine's doing wrong. And as you can see, this is what this window looks like now. I've taken out all of the detail in the middle. I think it looks a lot nicer. Um, but if I run round and we see it on this side, you'll notice it's got this side should be there and this side should be there. And I don't know how to fix that because that's completely dependent on what, what way you're facing. Um, so if I put this same window over on the this far wall here, it'll look right. But it looks wrong on this one. And it'll look wrong on the opposite one as well. So... I don't know, that's a bit of MC Patcher Optifine connected texture weirdness and I'm not sure how to fix it. So if you happen to be watching and you're a bit of a connected textures kind of whiz, I hate using that word whiz, it makes me sound like my mum. If you are a bit of a connected textures genius and you know how to fix that issue, Al, uh, let me know because I want to keep it. It looks really nice, um, but obviously I can't if it's going to look like rubbish. Uh, so this is the interior that i got going on at the moment. Um, I wanted to feel, make it feel a little bit smaller than it currently does. So it's probably going to change from here because I want this to kind of be a one wide walkway, which I might still, a uh, hallway, which I might still have. Um, and then I've got kind of this bit, which might be like a bit of a pantry. This would be a kitchen. I uh, will come up and there'll probably be like the bedroom up here. So it's like a bit of a mezzanine floor. Um, so I might do the kitchen here. And this is the entrance into the tower, which just goes up. Just a very windy, windy, windy thing. Then we hop up the top. Blah, blah, blah. And this is what it looks like. Not too bad. Got a nice view. So get a good view of all of the different things. So there's going to be the temple up here. So that's going to look really cool. Be a nice view. You can see out over the, over the red sand area, desert thing area, desert. And over here down to the forest and the triple spawner. And then a nice little bit of roof detail. Kind of like it. So that's what I was up to off camera. Just trying to work out some things. Um, but what we might do right now, before we start building anything, that's probably dizzied you enough. Um, what we might do is I'll convert these peonies to pink dye because I'm going to need that. And I've got some stuff here ready for making the trees, but we're not going to quite do that yet. What I'm going to do... Actually, I've got some terracotta. Let's make some more pink terracotta. Uh, no, here, pink terracotta, Jip. and we might do, hmm, we'll do that many, and then we'll cook you up. Got some taters, I've finally got a food source going, which is great. 
finally getting somewhere and I've got lots of white concrete powder and that kind of annoys me because I think I used a lot of sand for it and I need obsidian and where's some gravel? Should have plenty of gravel. I'm gonna make some pink concrete. Zip zip. Ah, oh, want that one. Zip zip. And zip zip. One, two, three. Yes. I think that's okay. I think I've got some more pink in here. I've got heaps of pink dye. Uh, how am I looking for pink glass? 40 pink stained glass. That should be enough. And let's just, I'll keep half of that. Uh, yes. 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 All will make sense soon. This is all stuff that I'm going to use for my, um, for my trees. Because obviously I can't have pink, uh, pink leaves. So we have to improvise a little bit. Okay, I'll stand back a bit here. This is probably not the best way to get concrete, um, especially in this server, because it's quite like you dropping down the dropping down the thing, but um it's worked for me. I did 64 fairly quickly not that long ago, so it works. Alright. Get you, get you, get you, get you. Beautiful. So we've got enough pink stuff, so what we're going to do next is we're going to link up this nether portal. Bloop. Because that's something I've been meaning to do for a while. And I'll just get my flint and steel, which should be in here somewhere. There you are. Thank you. And we'll go link up this nether portal properly so that you don't come out of someone else's. And look at all this deliciousness. I'm not going to run out of food anymore. Um, and I'm not... I've kind of half made the decision. I think I'm just going to live off potatoes. It's just the easier option than farming up cows. They don't make any noise. Ooh, doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look lovely? We're really starting something up here, and I'm hoping... I'm hoping I can come up with some designs. I want to do these bridges. Uh, possibly in the next episode, we shall see. Um, but definitely going to do these bridges soon. So, oh, let's have a look. We are... 1752... 1752-13795. So I'll take a screenshot of that. And let's do some maths, shall we? Okay, I think I've got it sorted out. I think we'll have to put it at... Let's see, it's, so it's 1, 2, 3, it's 5 long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think it was 9 high. I'm going to try and make it the same shape. So I think we have to go at negative 219s and 1724. Actually, pretty close to. Uh, hello. Oh, okay. So you're already pre-made. So two nineteen would be here, and then seventeen twenty-four is this way. Okay. So hopefully, I'll try to get it on the same Y as well. Seventeen twenty-four. It's right here. Well, no wonder it linked me pretty close. Okay, and seventy-four. So what if? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to be around 122. So I'm feeling if I go 100 high. Actually, will this matter? Will this matter? That's my question. Let's find out. Let us find out. So let's just get our obsidian here. We'll go. Put it in the ground. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just go five high for now. Or six high as it is. Yeah, well. All right. Cross fingers. Cross fingers. <gasps> I was hoping that would happen instantly, but I gotta wibble and wobble a bit. And it has. Doesn't feel like it's worked. Oh yes. We have a linked up nether portal. Shimona, Shimona, turned into Michael Jackson. That's probably making you really dizzy with everything else going on. And hopefully, I come back out in my actual portal. Yes. All right. Let's make this thing. Whoa, hello. Let's make this thing the size that it should. No. Come back. Did that go through? Yes, it did. And I need that. So back I go again. Hello? 
Okay, did I pick it up? Yes. And back we go again. <laughs> Nether hopping with cream puff. Okay, come on. There we come. There we go. Alright, hang on a second. Alright. No, no, no. I'm out and I'm staying. Okay, I've got that. I've got my obsidian, All right. There. Yep. Yeah. Knock these out. That'll shut this up as well. God, mining is sitting in is boring. Can you imagine, right? I always think, can you imagine if I did an episode mining obsidian? Because I, I mind a stack and a half of this stuff. And just imagine, I'd do it really, like, boringly as well. And I'd make it like the episode that people could listen to so they go to bed. And I'd make them sleep. So I'd be like, here we are up to uh, obsidian number six, seven, eight, nine. That would be nine. Okay, <clears throat> getting weird. All right, I have my giant ostentatious nether portal, which is exactly what I'm going to call it if I happen to have some wood with me, which I don't. Oh, yeah, hang on, I'll use some of this birch. Birch, and I'll make you, because you can never have enough crafting tables. Boop. And B4, make some of those. Uh, don't know why I did that, because there should be there, and there should be there, and there should be there. I'm going to make six of those for reasons unknown. And we'll go CRMP, CRMPF's Ostentatious Nether Portal. Beautiful. So, hello? Yes. So, here's the kind of main nether thing. Uh, I'll tell you what, while we've got some cobblestone here, I'm going to make a little path up to our nether portal with a little sign so people know where I am that would be great because I don't think many people come and visit if like ever there we go and we'll just put some cobble down just to begin with and that there that there beautiful oh. So we've linked up our... Uh, we'll just do this through the nether rack. Why not? We have dominion over this. I don't know why I said that. I feel weird now. All right. And um, we'll go... Break this down here. We'll do this down here. And do that there. Boop, 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 boop. And then... Right now we go... Boop, boop, boop. And finish that off here. Da, 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 da. Beautiful, and we'll get what will we use? What could we use? Uh, obsidian? No. Gravel? No. Bugger, we'll use this birch wood. That'll work. And we'll go. Da, da, da. And we'll go. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, look better this way. No. Nah. I like it better this way. Two cream buffs. Japanese. Wonderland. Boop. There we go. So people can come out here and go, oh, oh, this is new. Oh, wonderful. Let's go. Let's go into the portal and see what's on the other side. Oh, that's a really big portal. And then they go, Hoo! and then we'll come back to our joint. Joint. Joint? I've never, I've never used that word before to describe a place. What's wrong with me? Right. I'm going to stop recording for a bit, go and have a good hard think about what I've become, and then we'll come back and build the next thing. What's the next thing? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're going to do a cherry blossom. Yes, I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm going to build one and show you. Be back in a little bit. Okay, so I've made my first cherry blossom tree, and I really, really like how it came out. Here we go. Check it out, man. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually, this is better than the one I managed to do in creative. This is just, I think, absolutely beautiful. Um, so in the absence of having any pink leaves in the game to work with, um, I've gone for a mixture of all of the pink colors. So there's pink concrete in there. Um, actually, quite a lot. Probably, no, that's all right. Pink concrete in there, some pink uh, glazed terracotta. There's some pink concrete powder, which you can kind of capture a glimpse of here and there. Probably use more resources than I need to for this. Um, and then some pink wool in there as well, just for some added texture. And then I've kind of cr um, covered everything in uh, the pink glass. Uh, I might take that bit off there, um, which gives it all just a little bit of a nicer feel. But what do we think? And then I've put these... Uh, glass panes down here that are going to be the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, uh, like leaves, leaves, little cherry blossoms actually floating down from the tree. And so these are going to be kind of everywhere. I'll try to keep them out of the, out of the way as much as I can, but what do we think? Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. I think we've got a bit of a, got a bit of a thing going on here. Um, so the plan is pretty much these are going to exclusively be the trees that are going to be around. So we'll get rid of a lot of these. There'll still be some of these left. So I might keep some of these. I'm going to keep some bushes around and I might, I might keep some of these kind of more, I don't know what you'd call them, like poplars or something like that, or cypress trees, maybe, um, keep some of those around, but mainly going to be that. I tried this with the acacia logs cause I thought that would fit in, but it just, it was too dark, too harsh. So the birch is the way to go. And finally finally <laughs> a use for birch um but yes there it is uh next episode next episode i'm hoping i want to do some terraforming around our portal um and we might even lay out i've got a bit of a plan for something up here up on this little tower uh, tower up in this little area up here which would be awesome so anyway uh thanks very much for watching this episode guys give me some feedback on this cherry blossom tell me what you think um, and yeah, let me know what else you like to see. Oh, and one thing, Mr. Dragon Slayer, um, just to let you know that I do have a plan for a modern building, uh, and I'll let you know now. My plan is I'm going to build a modern, um, uh, a modern kind of, it's not really going to be a shop. It's going to be a museum in Spawn Town. I'm going to create a museum of modern art. And it's going to be this beautifully stark white modern building. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be starting that very, very soon. It's quite a big build. It's going to take some time. But um, if I can make it look how I want it to look, I think it's going to be awesome. So don't worry. I have not forgotten you. There will be a modern build coming up. Um, but yes, they, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I appreciate your support. Uh, leave me leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about everything that I'm doing. Um, I'd also love, love, I really want to see your guys' builds. Come on, seriously. Hit me up, Instagram, uh, Twitter, or just post them. Hello. Or just, you know, post them on Imja and send me a screenshot because I'd love to see them. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.